Your next step is to set up the environment with which your robot will be moving. The most important part of this process is to make some sort of mount for your camera and a mount for your robot. Now, your robot and your camera should not be moving relative to each other, okay? The reason for that is, once you do the calibration, the vision calibration, if, the, if you put an object in the camera's view, the robot will know where the camera is and where the object is and know how to move to that location. But if your camera has been moved, then that information is no longer valid and you will have to rerun the calibration. Even small movements can cause issues in tracking. So, make a mount for your camera. The camera has to be above the robot, facing down. It doesn't have to be perfectly above, just in the workspace where you're going to be working in. And you want the robot to be immobile. So, what I did is I grabbed a lampshade, I took out the bulb, and I put a webcam facing down on the lampshade so I can adjust it. Then, I took a whiteboard, and I put a robot on it, and I made little clay mounts for the back legs, so the robot won't move. As for choosing a good camera, your best bet is a 640x480p camera without autofocus and without auto contrast. And remember to have good lighting in your area. That means even lighting, white, and objects, details can be seen clearly with, with the camera.